What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another vehicle related video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what window tint to choose. Let's get right into this. From privacy to heat reduction, there are many reasons why people opt to get their windows tinted on their vehicle. The first thing to think about when planning on tinting your vehicle's windows is the laws that are in your area. Here in Ontario, you are not allowed any window tint on the windshield. On your front sides, both the drivers and passengers, you are allowed 70%, and the rear and rear sides can have any tint. Every state and province in the US and Canada can have different window tint laws, and it is important to know the laws in your area before getting window tint installed, and that will also avoid getting any tickets in the future. Also keep in mind that if you travel somewhere that has different laws with the window tints, you can also get a ticket there as well. When choosing the window tint you want for your vehicle, you need to choose what percentage you want. The lower the percentage, the darker the tint. The percentage is how much light comes through the window. 5% only has 5% light coming through the window, whereas 70% will allow 70% of the light to go through the window. 5% is the darkest you can get and is usually only used on the rear windows as it is illegal in most places on the front. There are also two types of window tints, standard and ceramic. Standard is the most popular and least expensive. It is mostly used for style and adding privacy. Now ceramic serves more of a purpose. It is more expensive but also has heat reduction with it as well. Regardless of the percentage, type, and reason you want to get your windows tinted, you should go with a higher quality one. That means getting it installed at a professional shop rather than doing it yourself or having somebody else do it for you that might not be as good as a professional shop. Getting cheaper tint and also not getting a professional to install it means that your window tint will likely not last and will need to be replaced placed more often. That means that it will cost you more over time. You have probably seen vehicles with faded and bubbled window tints. Those were likely not done by professionals. Also getting it done by a professional shop, you will usually get a warranty. In my area, most give a lifetime warranty, which means if it ever fades or bubbles, you get it replaced for free. But since they do quality work at the professional shop, you will likely never need to get it replaced. Whereas if you go with somebody that is cheaper or just cheaper film altogether, usually in a couple years, you will have to get it replaced because it will bubble and fade. Now, most people, whenever they're getting their window tint done, are likely going to go with the cheaper option. They probably found somebody on Facebook Marketplace that installs window tints, but those people are gonna be using the cheapest quality window tint available, and that's why their prices are so much cheaper than a professional shop. In my opinion, I would much rather go to a professional shop that not only has a lifetime warranty, but I know will use quality film, and most of them, if you go on their website, you can actually see what film they have and do research on that film to make sure it is a high quality one, but in my opinion, in after all the research that I have done, most shops in my area at least use high quality film, which means that is why that prices are so much higher, but you'll likely never have to replace it. It's likely never going to fade and never going to bubble. So in my opinion, I would much rather go to a professional and pay up for it rather than have to replace it every couple years because I got crappy, crappy film. So hope you guys know a little bit more about your window tint. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me explaining the different types, the different percentages and what the percentages mean and about the laws. So definitely check the laws in your area because you can get hit with tickets. Now, in my opinion, most comms don't go and worry about window tints, but if you get pulled over for something else, they could very much just as easily tack that on as well if they notice your window tint is not legal. So keep that in mind so that, at least in my area, most of them don't bother you, but they definitely can bother you as well. And it's not worth the risk because you will have to get it removed. And if you were to get in an accident and you have the window tint on it, your insurance premiums could also go up if they were deemed that it is your responsibility for the accidents and they notice that you do have window tint. So keep that in mind as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.